My name is Stella Roll, and I have the honor of receiving the 2020 Honor Student of the Year Award this year. Now, I could not be more excited and more grateful, so I just wanted to thank my parents and my friends, my professors, and absolutely everyone in the Student Life Office because I know that I would not have been able to achieve all that I did this year without their continuous support and guidance. And I've actually been given the opportunity to really speak about anything that I believe in. So I wanted to talk about something that I have learned within the last year here at UC Blue Ash, which is the importance of creating a good, sturdy support system for yourself. And I know that this may sound a little bit silly for those of you that are able to really push yourself out there and make friends anywhere that you go. But for many of us, it can be a lesson that can take a very long time to learn. And it's definitely helped me. I know that when I first came to Blue Ash, I was 100% one of those students that just came in, took care of all of their academic work, and then left as soon as classes were over. So I wasn't bothering to really get to know the people that I was in my classes with, and I certainly wasn't staying around to check out any of the activities or clubs or anything that we had going on. And I thought that I could get by like this, but I began to realize that I was pretty unhappy with the point that I had put myself into. And yes, I had my family and I had my friends still there to support me, but they couldn't really understand any of the things that I was kind of experiencing or going through because they weren't there on the campus and they just couldn't relate to exactly what I was going through. And so at this time, I was finding a lot of one-off volunteering opportunities to kind of fill up my time. And one Saturday afternoon, I spent four whole hours alone, surprise, surprise, trying to get people to volunteer to donate blood to the Hawksworth Blood Center. And so I've been doing this, and at the end of it, I was so excited to just have any kind of social interaction. So the volunteer coordinator and I, as we were packing up the table, got to talking. She asked me how I was liking Blue Ash, and I replied honestly and told her that, yeah, I love my classes and the campus is really great, but I hadn't exactly found my place yet. So she told me that I should think about applying to be a student orientation leader on the Blue Ash campus, and I actually took her advice, and soon enough I had found myself in the red polo shirt and the khaki pants uniform that I am sure you have all seen many, many times over as we all kind of go throughout our thing in the summer. So that summer between my freshman year and my sophomore year of college was really quite a pivotal point for me because I really got to know all of the people that I was working with and it opened me up in a way that I really wasn't anticipating when I first signed up for the role. So these peers felt like a new support group for me that I hadn't yet experienced in college. And that really, really kind of opened my eyes and made me realize that if I can have this in one aspect of my life, then I can translate it into various others. So that could be, uh, you know, in the work environment, um, in the classroom, in my volunteering opportunities, really wherever I would go. And this really started to change me. First of all, I think that when you find a good support system for yourself, it provides a different meaning to the things that you are doing. So in the classroom, I had kind of felt alone. I hadn't figured out exactly like the path I was going down, but I knew that I had to get things done. So when you're alone and you're working through things by yourself, it can often feel like the work that you're putting in doesn't have any real meaning and that it's just a week by week thing instead of a bigger picture. And that is definitely something that started to change for me as I realized that all of my classmates and I were working towards one goal of all of getting our degrees. So that was super important for me and I think for many other people too. And then if you know me, you know that one of my favorite things is a little bit of shared commiseration. I just think that it is easier to get through things if you have people that are experiencing them with you and you can talk it out together and deal with it. I know that last semester I had this big doozy of a research project that I was working on and everyone in the class was feeling kind of low, the morale wasn't all there because we were just so focused on this paper and making it the best it could possibly be. 
So because we were there with each other and we were reminding each other, you know what? Yeah, this is hard. You're not going through this alone. I'm experiencing it. They're experiencing it. Everyone understands. And we could remind each other that those hurdles were put in place to try and test us and make us the best that we could be. We were able to get over them together. And then as we move on, the motivation that you can see and feel that you are provided when you work with a good group of people and you have people supporting you is astronomical. So when you are working together and when you have these people who are going through the same things as you, you can see that their success is something that they are so proud of. And then it pushes you even further to achieve the same things. And then you have that two-way street where you are supporting one another in order to just become the best that you can be. And it is so beneficial for you because it makes you bloom into something that you never thought would quite be possible. So all in all, even if it seems so difficult to push yourself and make these friends and create these groups of support that you didn't think were previously possible, just know that it is. And even if you feel like you are not able to do it, these people around you may feel the exact same way. And you just have to realize that it is a two-way street and that you are supporting each other through and through. And through that support, you will find that there is strength and you are not alone in any of the endeavors that you are putting yourself in through. And that everything that you are working towards will have a powerful, positive benefit for you in the end. So again, I just want to thank Everyone that helped me get to this point, I want to thank UC Blue Ash because my life has been altered definitely for the better. I am excited about my future and about all of my colleagues' future and my classmates and everyone's, and it's because of this school, so I just want to say thank you.